I guess if you want to start with the death penalty preclusion, talk to us about what is going to happen with this one. Well, this is a motion uh, attacking, uh, if you will, the constitutionality of the death penalty uh, procedures. This has been more fully articulated in other motions that the defense has filed. At this juncture, I believe the court is not going to dismiss the uh, death penalty uh, procedures. At this point, the defense is alleging that the court should do so because the state is seeking the death penalty of, uh, based upon improper uh, motives. And I have not seen a case in Florida where a judge has uh, invaded the province of the state attorney's office and looked behind their motives of seeking the death penalty and accordingly uh, dismissing uh, the death penalty procedures on that basis. So I do not believe that this motion will be granted. And, to be, and you'd like you said, in, in a shorter sentence, can you say, talk to us about, <laughs> you've never seen a case where a judge has Right. On this. Okay, I'll do it. Um, this, is, this motion is alleging that the state is seeking the death penalty in bad faith asking the court to dismiss it. I've never seen or heard of a case where a judge has, in fact, gone behind the state's motives and dismissed uh, the death penalty on that basis. Sounds good. Okay. All right, and then the next one, the video. Um, but the attorney visits first about Jose Baez and... I believe that this motion has some merit to it. I believe that an attorney should have the right to visit with his client without, in fact, being videotaped. We know they can't be audiotaped, but I think that it can produce a chilling effect on the attorney-client relationship to know that you're constantly being monitored uh, by uh, a third party. So um, I can certainly understand the defense raising this motion Obviously, the jail is going to argue it's a matter of security, uh, and the court's just going to have to balance uh, the jail's uh, right to uh, implement uh, security measures with, in fact, um, Casey Anthony's right to effective assistance of counsel and due process of law. But uh, in, in this particular case, I believe that Mr. Baez has a, a very good basis to ask that that procedure be discontinued. And then it's kind of a similar type argument with the, with the family visits as well. Right? Well, it's a little different. Uh, it's certainly the jail can argue that, wait a minute, uh, we're talking about third parties here. There's no right and expectation of privacy, uh, and we should be allowed to videotape. As far as these videotapes are concerned, I don't believe that they're going to have any evidentiary value uh, to the state. If the state attempts to use them, obviously there would be a motion to suppress. At this juncture, the court again is going to have to weigh the uh, balancing between Casey Anthony's right to a fair trial and the Orange County Jail's ability to um, implement security measures that they think are appropriate. Um, but the real issue here is, are these going to be used at trial? I don't see that they have any evidentiary value. If uh, the state attempts to use them, I'm sure there'll be a motion to suppress. At the very least at this point, or I think at the very most at this point, this judge may say, all right, hold on to the videotapes, don't release them uh, into the general public. Uh, let's make sure that she gets uh, a fair trial in this case. Could they say hold on to them and don't release them until the trial's over? Like, did they release them? Sure, he could order a temp temporary hold on them or a permanent hold um, uh, or any combination uh, thereof. Uh, but I believe that uh, the court the court has to be concerned about Casey Anthony's right to a fair trial. And with all the pretrial pre publicity we're getting in here, including release of uh, audio and video from the jail, it's certainly making it very difficult for her to get a fair and impartial uh, jury. So the judge just may well say out of abundance of caution, you know what, uh, I'm not going to stop you from videotaping, but I am going to order that those uh, videotapes and audio tapes not be released uh, to the public until such time as this case uh, comes to fruition.